Hi YouTube world, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I am going to be talking about a new release. It is the Pixie and Hello Kitty collaboration. I am so thrilled <laughs> that I picked this up. Um, I didn't get every single piece in the collection, but I got a few of them and I'll apply what I got on my face so that you could see how it works. And it's not a first impression because I don't like first impressions. It's more like a second, third impression. On my face right now, I only have my foundation, eyebrows, and a little bit of bronzer. I also have my like kind of 80s hair going because for me, Hello Kitty means 80s. It was uh, a character that I remember going to the mall on Saturdays with my mom and my sister to do some window shopping. And they had these stores that were 100% dedicated to all the characters of like Hello Kitty and Twinkle, Little Star and all of those like cute characters. And it was unaffordable, that store. Like unaffordable back in the 80s. Like a good like $10, $20 for items back then, which would be like the equivalent of like $100 for some things today. Really bizarre. I don't know if it was because, well, like to get things from Japan probably took a lot longer than now with Amazon and everything, but it was a hot commodity. Like if someone had a Hello Kitty something, you were like, damn, you're rich. <laughs> You're rich or you actually went to Japan. Um, so I never really got a lot of little tchotchkes and things because they were too pricey. But I really always wanted them all. And so when I saw Pixie release this collection, I said, you know, screw it. I'm going to buy it. I like the way it looks. I like some of the items. I'm going to, I'm a grown up. I can do this. So I did it. I did it for my younger self, for my eight-year-old self, my 12-year-old self. Hello Kitty IFX Shadow. So this is the eyeshadow palette. I really liked the tones. I also got this lip tone, which is a pH reactive tint. I also got the Hello Glowy Powder in Friendly Blush. This one here, I believe they had two shades, so I picked up the lighter of the two, I think. And I also picked up the Endless Silky Eye Pen in London Fog, this one here. And then last but not least, I picked up the Makeup Fixing Mist, this one here, because look how cute. It has the head of um, Hello Kitty on it, which I just thought was adorable. And the great thing is this, um, this can just switch out from any of your uh, of the misters that you have. And I know Pixie has some really wonderful misters. I love their Milky Hydrating Mist. Um, the glowy one is nice. Sometimes though, there's inconsistency with the spray. I've gotten some good ones. I've gotten some not so good ones, but overall it is a really good product. And I love having this as like such a nice detail. Items I didn't pick up were the larger blush palette. I'll put a picture of it here. Um, I just knew I wasn't going to be using all of those shades. I have a lot of blushes right now and I much preferred picking up the glowy one. I think there were also uh, some skincare products like a mask as well as the under eye uh, patches, which I actually do use. The under eye gel patches from Pixie, I really, really like them. So it was nice to see that they branded some of their kind of core products with Hello Kitty and that they also created some new products for the Hello Kitty collaboration. I like when brands do that because you can enjoy something maybe that you already love, but you can also try something absolutely new. I'm gonna start with the blush. I have used one of the glowy blushes before. It was a little too glowy. I'm hoping this color is a little bit less glowy, but look, I already know it's too glowy for me <laughs> because I've tried it already. But with a light hand, it it's actually quite beautiful. So I'm using a lighter, fluffier br uh, brush because I don't wanna pack this on. And with a nice bronzer, I think it's a complimentary uh, blush that actually is quite glowy, 
but you can control how much is put on. But I actually think it's quite pretty and it's not like crazy, crazy glittery or highlighty. I'm gonna put on the lip product already because my lips are feeling kind of chapped and this is an immensely hydrating product. It's like a super gloss. Um, and it's nice because it comes in this kind of component, but it's a nice thick gloss that feels super hydrating. I've worn it already a couple of days and it really is intensely hydrating. And although it's very thick, it's not sticky and it wears down really nicely. And I actually like the color. Um, it yields on me. It's, you know, it's definitely uh, pink and it's going to go a little bit more, a tiny bit more vibrant. And it does stain the lips. So as it wears down, the stain of the pink lingers. And I really love the texture of this product. It feels almost like a lip mask. So I hope that they come out with something like this for their skincare line that's just clear because I would actually buy this to be a nighttime lip mask. That's how nice I think it is. And it does, it has maybe the slightest, slightest scent of citrus. Next up, I think I'm gonna put on the eyeliner first and then I'm gonna put on the eyeshadow. Uh, so this is the London Fog, it's here. And I will swatch it for you so you could see. It's such a pretty charcoal uh, color. It does have a, a little bit of metallic. So actually this eyeliner does have a little bit more sparkle in it than I thought. There are tiny, tiny little flecks of um, like metallic silver, but I think it's really pretty. I'm gonna put up the other eye and uh, jump back on. There's the eyeliner. I may do my waterline and under uh, towards the end of the eye look, but I wanna see what I'm gonna end up going with. So the eyeshadow palette, this is it right here. So pretty. I love the embossing of, of it. It's the Hello Kitty's kind of like peeking up from the bottom, the bow and everything, just so cute. like really thoughtful, like not an obvious, like cute, you know, cutesy thing, like embossing everything. It was like selective and it has a point of view. So I really do like the design. I also really like the colors in here. They're very soft, wearable. A lot of them are very um, metallic, actually. The only shade that is looks to be like truly a matte is this white, which is right up here. And I thought that was a very interesting choice. And when I started to actually play with the palette and create looks, I was really actually quite happy that that white existed because you don't find that often. You don't find like a nice bright white being in a palette um, matte and it can really help create very beautiful ethereal eye looks. So I think today I'm gonna do something more along the lines of using um, that kind of gray, probably, maybe some of the plum. I'm gonna avoid these on the bottom. They're really quite beautiful, and I will um, do eye looks with it later. Maybe I'll post it on my community board. But it yields a very pretty, warm, metallic look, and I like that look, but I don't want a warm, metallic look today. I want a little bit more cool tone, a little bit more grungy, uh, with some of that lightness from um, these pinks. Let's watch some of those warm shades too so you can see what they look like. So these are some of those warm shades. So it's like a plummy, um, almost like a plummy bronze and a more golden um, bronze. Uh, this corner color is more of like a peach, peachy color. So the three combined make a really beautiful eye look that looks actually quite golden -y and yummy. You know what? I'm going to prime my eyes a little bit. Um, I'm going to use the e.l.f. Cookies and Cream, uh, the white shade. I've been using this as primer for some of my more... Um, I've been playing around with a very colorful palette that I'll be doing a video on from Profusion, and I've been using it for that. And I've been enjoying this as an eye base. It's not... I can make it actually quite bright and white, but a little bit 
just kind of neutralizes things a bit and also provides a nice canvas. I don't like to build it up too much unless it's a very colorful shade, but since this is going to be a little bit light, a little bit kind of ethereal, I'm not going to build it up too much, but I'm going to use that white. And I love that brightness it gives. And I'll go right into my inner corner too. And then I'm going to go in with that more ethereal color next. So it's like a subtle pink and I'm going to amp it up with this color here. Or no, actually this more taupey color. Or I'll go back and forth. If you combine all of them, I think it creates like a very pretty dreamy look, but I definitely want like an 80s vibe to this. So that's why I want these kind of icy frosty tones. And then I'm gonna go in with that plum right over here. I'm gonna go back and forth between that plum and gray. I'm using the same brush. I've liked doing this recently where I place the color almost to line up with whatever wing I've used and I sort of flick it inward so it doesn't let me pass kind of the point of no return um, and drag my eye down. So I sort of like work at an angle. This is what I've been doing. This is what I've been kind of responding to lately. Um, I'm also using some new brushes, which I'm still playing around with. These are by Moda. I'd always heard really good things about Moda as an affordable brand. And so I picked up a couple of sets at Nordstrom Rack, super affordable. And I'm really actually quite impressed with them, but I don't wanna talk about them just yet. I'm still playing around with a lot of the shapes and stuff, but for the quality, like just the finial, the handle, it's really, really nice. It feels really nice in the hand and I have been liking it. I'm gonna use another one for that gray. That metallic gray, I'm actually just using it to stamp over my, pre my liner. I think I'm going to put on that kind of metallic pink color and try it wet because I feel like it will show up a bit better because it's a little too soft and I feel like with a little bit of some spray and I'll, I'll actually use the makeup setting spray from Pixie, which I'm going to spray my face with at the end, but it has a nice mist to it. Oh yeah, that's way nicer. You know, this color reminds me of a shade in Subculture by Anastasia. Shade Cube, which I've been using more and more just to see if I want to keep it around. And this reminds me of it. And that shade actually I really like as a highlight. So this shade might actually look really nice as a highlight. So I know it's not like terribly dramatic, but I really like it. I feel like this is like 80s, but a level up. I am back on. I put on some mascara. I did carry that kind of flaky, flaky color that I've been using this whole eye look into the inner corner and a little bit down. Um, what's really pretty about it is it has just that really pale sheen to it. It's not a glitter. It's more of a pearl, but it's it's flaky. It's hard to work with. Very similar to that cube color from Anastasia. So if you know about that, you know what I'm talking about. It is really pretty. It's just a nice, subtle kind of pink. And I carried that gray metallic just underneath my um, eye. And I did go ahead and put that liner in my waterline. Let me spritz my face and I'll just give you my final thoughts as to the items I picked up in this collection. This is the Makeup Fixing Mist, by the way. So this is the one with rose water and green tea. I really like it because it's uh, refreshing and it's not heavy. So I don't know, I don't know that it makes 
makeup lasts a really long time, but it does make makeup settle in nicely and doesn't provide too much of a glow. The glowy mist of theirs can be really quite a lot sometimes. And so I, I like that they included this in the collection. What are my thoughts? I am happy I picked up the items I did in the collection. I feel like the eyeliner and the setting spray is gonna be very useful to me on the daily. The blush, you know, it's it's a it's a tiny bit too glowy for me, so I feel it's gonna take me forever to go through it. But I do like it, and I do think on some days I will be reaching for it, especially as a blush topper, but just with a light hand. Let's watch it for you, just a dense swatch so you could see. So that's it there. I mean, it's very much a highlighter. I think if you have a deeper skin tone, this would make a beautiful highlighter, but it's adorable nonetheless. I love the embossing on it. It's so cute. And yeah, I will reach for it. The lip tone, again, I really like it. I, I'm not someone to wear this color of pink all the time, though it's very appropriate for this look. And I even got earrings to match and my nails to match. I feel like I'm very 1980s glam. That's what I'm going for. And I really like the formula. And I'm particular with my lip products as if you've watched any of my videos, you know, I'm a, I'm a lip freak. And this one, it's just really cushiony, really, really nice. Um, yeah, I, I hope that they come out with with ones that maybe already have a color in them so that you know, I mean like, come on, something nudie in this would be really beautiful, but also it's just something clear. Just feel like it has a real n yummy nourishing property. And like I said, I have worn it for a couple of days. And I could tell you, it actually does help nourish the lips and we're in pretty cold, dry weather where I'm at right now, so. Now for the eyeshadow palette. I think it's pretty. I obviously went with a very specific look. Not for everyone, but I really like it. I like the cool tone aspect of it. It, you know, this this color, like I said, is a little finicky to work with. This is a really pretty matte. They are all shimmers though, and so if that's not your thing, I mean, this one's more of a satin, I would say, uh, but they're all either metallics or shimmers, so it's it's definitely going to yield a certain look. Oh, by the way, it comes really, with a really nice large mirror, which I appreciate. You stick to these colors here. These all yield a really pretty warm, warm pink bronzy look, and these yield more of a cool look. So I do think you have some options to play with. For shades that you can use as liners, like both of these, make for really pretty smoky liners if you're going for like a minimal eye look. It was my first time out experiencing pixie eyeshadows. I would be so curious and maybe my curiosity is going to get the best of me and I'm going to pick one up, but I'm going to take a look and see what kind of matte shadow combinations they have because I would like to try their matte formula more. For me, I feel like this palette is a good value. It gives me, you know, six distinct shimmery shades that for me would work as a one and done. That with some mascara and a bold lip. I'm often in a bold lip. I love bold lips. And so I'm always looking for a simple shadow look to go with it. And I feel like this palette gives me a lot of that. And so, if that speaks to you, you know, maybe this is a good value. This was a investment in my childhood. I was able to give myself something I wasn't able to give myself when I was younger. And it's gonna make me smile when I use it. And makeup should be fun and makeup should bring you joy and should make you smile. And so if you think that this collection would make you smile. I don't know, maybe pick up a couple of pieces, or whatever speaks to you. If not, I totally get it. I don't think it's the end all be all. It's not the most stellar release on the planet, but again, it kind of pulls at my heartstrings and I'm a heartstrings gal. So I hope everyone has a great Sunday and uh, yeah, we'll talk soon. Take care everyone. Bye.